Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I have decided to give you another marathon video and I am loving this one. It is a relaxing spring home tour marathon. So I gathered three of my spring home tour videos, put them all in one for you, and I hope that you all enjoy it. If you've seen these already, you might want to see them again and spark some more of that inspiration, maybe something that you missed when you watched it before, but I hope that you all enjoy it. And I know that since these were previously recorded, I may have mentioned a link being in my description box. If you cannot find it, please don't hesitate to just comment in the comment section and ask for the link. If I can find it, I will be more than happy to give it to you. So sit back, relax, and I hope you all get some inspiration or just enjoy today's video. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be giving you a tour of my home. I have recently updated so many different things since my last spring home tour. So I thought I would just walk you through my entire house and just kind of show you all of the new things that I have done. And I will also be letting you know where I purchased most of the items, especially the most asked about items. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video. The white lanterns that you see hanging on the sides right here, I purchased those at Hobby Lobby. They do still have them and you can purchase most of these items online still. The wooden shutters that you see on each side of this window pane, I purchased those at Michael's. The window pane was purchased at Kirkland's. And then most of my silk flowers and garlands were purchased at either Hobby Lobby or Michael's. The shelf that you see here above the window pane that was purchased at a thrift store and I painted that. The guest cottage sign, the mirror, and all of the pillows that you see here on the bench were all purchased at Home Goods as well as the quote above these hooks right when you walk in those were all purchased at home goods and then the hooks were purchased at hobby lobby they were not white i painted those and distressed them and then this basket that you see here hanging that was purchased online i will go ahead and leave the link for you and then the silk flowers that you see in there those were purchased at walmart so now I'm just going to take you down this short hallway and show you the laundry room and the bathroom that we have downstairs. And in this laundry room here, my husband and I completely redid it. I painted the cabinets in here. I also added some appliques to the doors and then I changed out the hardware. The appliques I purchased online, I will go ahead and leave a link in my description box in case you are interested in those. And then these cabinet knobs. I purchased those at Hobby Lobby. The keep the change sign with the glass jar was purchased at Kirkland's. This drying rack I get asked about all the time. That was purchased at Hobby Lobby. They do still have that. This bowl that you see on the wall, that was purchased at Target. It was a long time ago and I don't think they have them anymore. The laundry room sign, I did actually make that. And then now I'm gonna take you into the bathroom that we have downstairs. So I will be doing an update in this room. I am gonna completely refresh it. I'm gonna take this paper that I have on this wall. I'm gonna take it down. I did end up using contact paper from the Dollar Tree and it's just not holding up very well. So I will be taking that down and redoing that wall. I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do just yet, but I do wanna tell you where I purchased some of the items in here and I do get asked about the paint color quite a bit. It is called Peppercorn and it is by Sherwin-Williams. This powder room sign I purchased at Marshall's. The floral print I purchased on eBay many, many years ago and for some reason I just can't find it anymore, but that is where I purchased the print. 
So now I'm going to take you into the family room and I will tell you where I purchased the most asked about items in here. The floor pillows that you see in this basket over here in the corner, I purchased those at Target and the basket was purchased at Home Goods. And then right here on this mantle, we purchased all of our wood appliques at the same online store and I will keep a link in my description box for you. These candles here, I believe those were purchased at the Dollar Tree and then all of my silk flowers that you see laying on the mantle, those were purchased at Walmart. And then I get asked about this clock all the time and my husband actually made it and I stenciled the numbers on here and it is a non-working clock. Some of you have noticed that the hands don't move. It's always set at five o'clock. My husband thought that would be kind of funny to do that, but um, my husband did make the clock. And then the bunnies that you see here, those were purchased at Ross. The carrots were purchased at Home Goods. And then the urn that you see the tulips in, that was also purchased at Home Goods. The greenery that I am using for these candles here, those are actually napkin rings and I purchased those at Hobby Lobby. This fireplace screen was purchased at an antique store, so unfortunately I cannot leave a link for that. I made the slip cover that you see on the sofa and I did use a guide from Pinterest. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link for you because I did not do a video. And then for the pillows that you see here, I purchased the white ruffled pillow shams off of Amazon. And then the Easter toile pillows, I purchased those at Home Goods. This sign that says, always pray to have eyes that see the best in people, a heart that forgives the worst, a mind that forgets the bad, and a soul that never loses faith in God. That was purchased at Hobby Lobby as well as these angel wings, and the book stack was sent to me from a company that is local here. I get asked about this metal plate rack. It's like a farmhouse plate rack and I purchased that at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if they still have it, but I did purchase it at Hobby Lobby.
So a few of you have asked for me to show you what the table looks like right now. So if you have seen some of my other videos, you would know what I'm talking about, but this tabletop was painted white and I took the paint off and sanded it down and stained it. I will be adding one more coat of stain because I do want it to be a little bit darker, but that is what it looks like right now. Those B salt and pepper shakers, I purchased those at Marshall's and then the centerpiece that you see on the table, that was purchased at Burlington. So I do get asked quite a bit about these panels that I have in my kitchen and they were purchased at Hobby Lobby. I purchased this cookie jar at Walmart and I do keep my dog treats in there for Rocco. The natural bread bin, the copper bread bin, that was purchased at Home Goods. And then this oil diffuser was purchased at Marshall's. So I get asked about the labels that I have on my glass canisters and those are purchased on Amazon and I will leave a link for you down in my description box for those. The glass canisters were purchased at Walmart as well as this knife set. I did end up painting the block white and adding that little applique that you see on there. The breakfast served daily sign and the two corbels that you see up here. Those were all purchased at Home Goods as well as the tea kettle. The rug that you see in front of my sink area over here that was purchased at Ross. The copper trash can was purchased at Walmart. And then I'm going to take you over here by my coffee bar area and I get asked about this cookie jar that I have sitting here. I actually use this to hold um, hot chocolate packets that was purchased at a thrift store and I did end up painting that. The canisters that you see here, those were all purchased at Marshall's as well as this But First coffee sign. Another question that I get asked about quite a bit is how I have my drapes hung up here and where I purchased the um, curtain rods and it's actually a closet dowel that my husband cut down and then I just fit it to size and put it up there. The ends that you see, I purchased those at Hobby Lobby. So for this place setting here, I purchased the appetizer plates 
the white plates that you see on the bottom and then the napkin those were all purchased at home goods as well as the Easter eggs that you see in the centerpiece as well as the scale those were all purchased at home goods So I do get asked about the sofa that I have sitting here in the front room and where I purchased it. My aunt and uncle purchased this sofa at an estate sale or an auction years ago. I believe it was in LA and this sofa actually belonged to Amelia Earhart at one time. There were two of these and the matching one is in a museum still. I believe it's in California, LA area. I'm not 100% sure where the museum is, but the matching one is in a museum. And then over here, these two side chairs, I recovered those in drop cloth, and then I just painted the stencil and the stripe down the middle. So now I'm going to take you upstairs, but before I do, I just want to quickly show you the stairwell and this wall right here where I have all these photos. I will be doing an update in this area. I just kind of want to simplify it and update the photos that I have on the wall. So now I'm just going to quickly take you through the master bedroom and bathroom area and I might miss a few things so if you have a question about something just go ahead and ask down in the comments but I want to start by letting you know that I purchased this flower market pillow cover online I will leave a link for you I get asked about the two smaller pillows that are on my bed all the time and I made those and then right up here on the wall I purchased the quotes at Burlington and then I made the little floral arrangement that you see right in the middle. I did purchase my bed set, the duvet cover and the shams and the quilt. I purchased all of that at Target. The Euro shams were purchased on Amazon and then the inserts were purchased from Ikea. So I do get asked quite a bit about this decor piece on my wall and it is actually just a wreath that I purchased at Joann's and then I just added ribbon to it down at the bottom. And then this picture right here with this floral print, I purchased that at an antique store.
So my husband and I had redone this bathroom in here and the um, knobs and the poles that we have on the cabinets, those were purchased at Hobby Lobby as well as the corbels that you see here on my vanity area. And then right up here is a pedestal and that was sent to me. I will leave a link for that. There's always a link for that pedestal in my description box. I get asked about my makeup mirror that was purchased at an antique store. And this is definitely one of my favorite quotes by Audrey Hepburn. And it says, happy girls are the prettiest. And I purchased that at Kirkland's. And then right up here between the two mirrors, the hello there handsome and good morning gorgeous. Those quotes were both purchased at Hobby Lobby. The lights that you see above the mirrors, those were purchased off of Amazon and I always have links to most of the items in my house in my description box. If you can't find it there, just go ahead and ask me in the comments and I will be more than happy to give you the link. The chair of planter that you see here sitting on the floor by the bathtub, I purchased that at Ross and I think it's a planter but I use it to hold my bath bombs and then I get asked about this area above my bathtub all the time and I just have regular lace panels up here and they are the type that you would use a clip ring because they don't have a pocket like a pocket for a curtain rod and I purchased those off of eBay and then this um, crystal chandelier thing that you see hanging from the ceiling, I purchased that at Ross. And then right here for this window, I made the valance that you see here. And then we just recently purchased the bamboo shade from Lowe's. And then I just added a privacy screen and it is just that peel and stick privacy screen. And I stuck that right to the window and I purchased that at Home Depot. So before I end the video, I am just going to very quickly show you what the two boys' rooms look like. I'm not really going to go through where I purchased anything in here because I don't really spend too much time in here when I do my videos, so I don't get asked about them. But if you do have any questions, just go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. So we have been updating the boys bathroom and I'm just going to give you a sneak peek at what we have done so far and my husband has um, finished the backsplash here and then I will probably be painting and I ordered some mirrors and some other decor pieces to go in here so I can't wait to show you what this bathroom looks like when it's all finished. Well that is it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it very much. If you did please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I hope you guys all have a beautiful day. See you in the next one. Bye. Hi 
everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is monica and in today's video i'm bringing you a spring home tour if you are new here i just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and checking out today's video today i will be sharing how i decorated my home for the spring season i will also be listing a lot of items down in my description box so if you are wondering where i purchased some of those things go ahead and check out the description box i also recently did a backyard patio makeover and i'm going to show you a quick preview of that as well so let's just go ahead and get right into today's video I love using neutrals in my entryway. I feel like it brings a really soft and comforting and welcoming look to it. And I really wanted to use the whites and the lavenders this season. I found these adorable ceramic bunnies at Home Goods this year. That lavender wreath was purchased last year at Home Goods. And then I found that mirror for $2 at a thrift store. I painted it white. And then I thought this chippy painted window pane would look perfect in front of the mirror with that wreath in front as well. The window pane I found at Kirkland's. Moving on from the entryway, I'm going to take you into the living room. I love this little space. I have this cozy little sitting area in here and I also brought that lavender in this area as well. I love the light that comes in through this front window. I think it is so beautiful and I also shared how I decorated this space in one of my videos as well and I will leave a link to my spring decorating videos in my description box as well if you're interested. I am obsessed with this sage colored sofa. I love it so much. If you are new and you're curious to know where I got this, this was um, purchased at an auction. My aunt and uncle purchased this sofa at an auction and it once belonged to Amelia Earhart. So it has some history to it and it's just absolutely stunning. My aunt and uncle did do like a complete reupholster to it, but it is just absolutely stunning. I love it so much and I do get asked about it so many times in my videos if I don't mention it. These beautiful lamps that you see here were purchased online Craigslist I want to say maybe 15 years ago 12 years ago I bought them for about $30 for the pair and I did repaint them and add some distressing to them to kind of fit my style a little bit better those bunnies that you see there those were purchased at Ross a couple years ago I love taking an oversized picture frame that has some beautiful ornate designs on it and just adding something to the middle just to kind of frame out the beauty of something else. And for this area, I decided to use a gold mirror and I love the way it adds a little bit of warmth to this side of the room. I purchased both of those at Hobby Lobby.
And now I'm going to take you into our family room. I love this area. I feel like it's super cozy. My family and I definitely spend a lot of time in this area of our home. And I love this mantle fireplace area. I love decorating it for the seasons. I decided to keep it pretty simple this year. I added some florals to the top and a beautiful ornate mirror with some shutters. And I think it just brings everything together in this area and it just feels so cozy and inviting. My husband and I completely redid this mantle when we moved in. I purchased all these beautiful appliques online and I do get asked about where I purchased my wood and furniture appliques and I will leave that linked down in my description box. I love using oversized fluffy throw pillows to place on my sofa just to give it a little more of a cozy look. I found these linen pillow covers on Amazon and I do have those listed down in my description box. Unfortunately, the floral covers cannot be purchased anywhere. My mom made those and I think she did a beautiful job. This fabric is just so incredibly pretty. Back again when the stars are aligned, we will dance in the meadow on our favorite place when spring is coming. Ooh. I am so in love with these velvet panels. And I have shared these in my past videos and I have them on pretty much all of my windows downstairs. I love them. They are so soft and pretty and I love how this just delicately drapes over this doorknob type tie back. I did purchase that tie back at Home Goods several years ago. I do occasionally see them in there, but it's kind of a hit and miss with um, that store. They just have like different things in there all the time. And then for this window, I wanted to put a little privacy screen on here and I did use a window film for that and I found that at Home Depot. You had to go. I will save you a space for a dance in the meadow on our favorite place when spring is coming.
here in the kitchen, since it is small, I didn't want to go too crazy with the spring decor because it can get really crowded and overwhelming. I wanted to add some fresh florals. So I did find some fresh cut flowers at the store and I added those by the window. I also found this mixing bowl at uh, Marshall's recently and I love how it has those spring colors to it. That pink looks so pretty with that mint green KitchenAid mixer that I have on the counter. I found this set of three canisters at Kirkland's not too long ago and I love them. They are my absolute favorite. I think they're so pretty. And then I just added some labels using my Cricut machine. I do have them linked down in my description box if you are interested. And last I checked, they were on sale. This beautiful ornate tray was purchased at Hobby Lobby. The salt and pepper holder was purchased online. I do have that linked down in my description box. And then the oil and vinegar holders, those were purchased at Home Goods.
Over here on this side of the kitchen, I have my coffee area set up. It's like my little coffee bar. I have my espresso machine, which I absolutely love so much. I'm gonna try to find that link and list that down in my description box. And then I have my coffee maker and then a couple essential items that I use every morning. But I love this little setup over here and I try to make it look as pretty as possible without it looking too crowded. But I love this little area over here and I definitely love my coffee. Moving on from the kitchen, I'm going to share my office area. So this is where I do all my work for my YouTube videos and I desperately needed a space. So I did originally have this area set up as a dining room. We never ever used it. So I decided since I needed space for an office, we didn't have an extra room for that. I made this my little workspace and I love how it's all set up. I found this beautiful desk on offer up i recently painted it and added the appliques and um, i love how it turned out i think it looks so pretty i'm still trying to find my way with space and all of the things that i need daily for my videos and trying to just kind of make it look pretty i feel like i've done the best i possibly could for now but I love this area. It's very relaxing for me and it's really pretty. And I feel like I did a really good job with making it my own little office area. And now I'm gonna take you outside. So since it is springtime right now, the weather is perfect here in las vegas it gets extremely hot during the summer and i feel like it does get pretty chilly in the winter so right now the weather is warming up everything is turning green again and it's just so beautiful outside i recently did a backyard makeover and that video is not out yet it will be out soon but i wanted to give you a sneak peek of what i have done out here and it's just such a relaxing space to enjoy while the weather is super nice. When the weather gets really nice and it starts to warm up, some of my favorite things to do is spend a lot of time outside. I love being able to open up all of my windows and just let that fresh breeze come in through the windows. What are some of your favorite things to do when the weather warms up? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really curious to know what your activities are that you love doing when the weather warms up. Well, that is it for today's home tour i hope that you all enjoyed today's video if you did please be sure to hit that thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't already i have so much more to share with you and i cannot wait to do that also you're going to want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos when they are posted thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys all have an amazing day i will see you in the next one bye
Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica and in today's video I am going to walk you through my house and show you how I have everything decorated for the spring season. So I hope that you guys all enjoy today's video and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So here in the entryway, I wanted to keep things very neutral and just add a few little tiny pops of spring. I recently purchased these beautiful wooden lanterns at Home Goods not too long ago, and I loved that just adding a white candle and a little tiny pop of greenery did just the trick. Adding these beautiful pillows on this bench makes everything nice and cozy and look at how adorable this bunny pillow is. I found that pillow at Marshall's a few weeks ago and then I wanted to add some wild spring flowers to this little jute basket that I have hanging by the entryway on a hook and then just a farmer's market little tin bucket that I found at Walmart a few years ago. Okay, moving on into the family room, and I did decorate a little bit differently this season. I went ahead and used a lot of the peach color. I think I used more lavender last season, but I am loving the peaches. I am loving all of those neutral colors, and I just am so in love with this mantle area that I did this season. I used some wisteria that I purchased at Hobby Lobby and then I did use a fern garland that I purchased at Target and I think it looks so beautiful up here with these layered mirrors and these white lanterns. I did purchase the white lanterns at Hobby Lobby. If you are visiting my channel for the first time today, I want to say welcome and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button before you click out. You don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. You're also going to want to follow me over on my Instagram. I will go ahead and leave it up here on the screen and it will also be down in my description box. I love how I decorated my hutch this season. I am just over the moon in love with the peaches. I think they are so darn adorable. I found the faux peaches at Hobby Lobby and this wooden peach box I found at Michael's and then some florals and greenery that I had had 
from previous years and then I used a basket that I purchased at home goods and then I did find these beautiful peonies at Michael's as well and then aren't these bunnies so incredibly adorable I love the chippy paint on them I think they are so pretty and I did buy those at Ross a couple years ago The breakfast served daily sign, the wooden shelves, the pitcher, and those adorable carrots were all purchased at Home Goods, and then the lavender I did find at Walmart. I do get asked quite often about this beautiful glass diffuser that I keep in my kitchen and I do have another one in my bedroom. I love this diffuser so much and I did find this on Amazon and it is linked down in my description box below if you are interested. If there is anything that you see in today's video and you are curious to know where I purchased it from, please don't hesitate to ask down in the comments below. I will be more than happy to answer for you. And I did find this beautiful chippy painted candle holder at Hobby Lobby and I love it and I think it looks so pretty sitting here on my countertop. The bread box down in the corner I found on Amazon and I will leave as many links as I possibly can find in my description box below and like I said if there is an item that you see and you are wanting to know where it is from or you are wanting a link please just ask down in the comments and I will be more than happy to provide that for you. So here in my formal dining room, I have my table set up and I wanted to keep it pretty neutral. I did want to add that pop of color with those pretty florals, but I did find this table runner and I wanted to kind of go from that and situate how I decorated everything around that table runner. So I thought the jute placemats would look perfect and I just love how everything turned out. Those appetizer plates are just so adorable with those bunnies on there, and I did find those at Home Goods. The charger plates were found at Michael's, and then I did find this beautiful urn a few years back at Home Goods, and then I just have it decorated with some beautiful white tulips, and I do believe that the tulips are from Hobby Lobby.
moving on upstairs into the master bedroom and I recently did a little bit of a makeover up here. I switched out my bedding and then I added those floral pieces above my bed. I am so in love with this bedding. I think it is so beautiful and it is very lightweight so it is perfect for the warmer months. And I found the bedding on Amazon and I will leave a link for you in my description box. I love the floral pieces that I recently did. I found those macrame wall pockets at Hobby Lobby and I do believe that I found the florals at Michael's. Thank you so much for watching today's spring home tour. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments down below. Make sure that you subscribe if you are new and I hope you guys all have a beautiful day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.